Assalamu alaikum ninjas, welcome back, welcome back, your ninja Muhammad. Finally here, finally a Malaysian test with the Redmi Note 11 with the, uh, of course, Mediatek 810 and Mali G57. Let's check it out. I'll be doing right now either SX2, either SX2 uh, emulation test review. I'll be using Gamesir X2 gamepad. Uh, you don't need to, to connect the cable. I'm just having here cable for long-term uh, usability and just because I connected to bigger smartphones and tablets, that's why I'm having here this cable. You don't need to use that. You can just simply uh, put it in side anyway this is the agb ram variant which i'm having in my hands guys uh, we can immediately test the latest build of this uh, emulator you will have show the version hey, let me just show you the version and you can see myself here this is the alpha release guys remember that this is still uh, a new um, a new emulator just in first uh, basically stages this obviously by months and years is going to be much much faster smoother more optimized especially for mediatek uh, processors so let's begin immediately you'll have the Buying links in the description and uh, to purchase this smartphone Redmi Note 11 5G version. Uh, let's begin immediately first right now. I'll show you right now the settings for the first for the beginning. Just pause this video guys if I'm too quick. Uh, throughout the game I'll be changing a little bit the EE cycle rate for sure I'm going to be changing this. Okay, graphics, of course, OpenGL, Vulkan completely doesn't work here with the Media, media Tech. Uh, I think most of the games are just not, uh, n you can't even run it, man. It's just uh, glitch screen, black screen, gray screen, yeah, white screen, you name it. It doesn't work. The Vulkan with the Media Tech uh, 810 doesn't work. So pause this video if I'm too quick, remember that. And regarding the advanced here, did we touch anything? I think I didn't touch here anything whatsoever. But you can check everything. Let's go down. Yeah. There you go. Anyway, so let's begin. Okay, just we're gonna begin firstly with a little bit lighter game that is the Crash Bandicoot. Uh, yes, you can see myself here, this is playable, but uh, we do have those hacks, let's just say, enabled regarding the speed itself. Uh, on the default, I'll be showing it default, uh, basically. Let me just show you immediately here how it's gonna run on default. We're gonna go to the settings here, system, and let's just say, it's put air at normal. So EE cycle rate normal, uh, EE cycle skip normal. So this is right now how it looks like. Check it out. Wow. It runs really good. What if we do, what we if we do, just a minute, what if we go to the system and we put EE cycle at 50 and EE cycle maximum underclock at 3, what's gonna happen? Uh, it looks terrible. It looks terrible. For this game, this uh, looks terrible. You should just enable the settings system at default and I think you will agree with me that this looks better on the default. Uh, of course, uh, the other settings you need to change that they're not default settings, so please make sure to change the settings which I showed you. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You can see what's on the top right corner, the... Let me just see, this is... Okay, awesome. Man, this is very playable. This is very playable for a MediaTek chip. Uh, this is very playable here right now with uh, Redmi Note 9, uh, Redmi Note 11. Redmi Note 11. I think most of you, uh, most of you will agree with me that this is playable. Awesome. Let's see here. Usually Damon always slows down and also here it slows down, which is very interesting. Even with this emulator, uh, the game uh, slows down at exact same spot where is the ice. Interesting man, seriously interesting. Anyway, let's go to the next game. This is one of the most playable games on MediaTek chips, guys. So far that I tested. Okay, downhill domination right now. Let's check this game right now on Redmi Note 11. This is on normal. And for this game, we will have to tweak. And by the way, guys, on normal itself, the game looks as it is. The frames are very smooth because all the frames are shown here. There's no frame skipping so far that I can technically explain all of this. And check this out, guys. We can reach here full speed 50 FPS with the Redmi Note 11. Dimensity 810. Awesome. Awesome. By the way, I'm having these games on SD card expansion and this small hiccups which you see uh, right now in this game, I think this is... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, oh, nice. Because I have stored them on my SD card. For a smoother experience, I think you should just have them simply on your internal storage. Wow. This is very playable, very, very playable experience right now with the Dimensity 810. 
Obviously for the price tag guys, remember that you could get a Snapdragon chip which will obviously work better. That is the Poco XT Pro which is selling uh, for the same price of $250. Let me note 11 5G is $250 bucks, while the Poco XT Pro is also uh, $250. And you should buy that phone if you are into emulators, guys, immediately. I will leave the buying link in the description. Of course, if you want to go to the Redmi Note 11 because it is updated smartphone, it has uh, uh, newer specs, uh, updated features, etc, etc. Uh, anyway, let's go back here. Enough of that game. Let's see what else we can test here. Let's go with the Naruto Ultimate Ninja 5. There we go. Let's check this out. At this game, I will have to. Uh, I think I will have to change or no? Okay, looks it looks on here normal. I don't need to change everything. This is probably the pole version, which is running maximum 50 FPS. And you can see myself here. This is also very playable, guys. It's not that super super laggy. I would call it like that. Previously, I was testing uh, a bit older MediaTek processors, Helio P60, and most of the games were very laggy with uh, running around 150% uh, uh, CPU real-time speed, which uh, if the game was running 60 FPS, it was two times slower, running average around 30 FPS or so. And uh, Naruto runs here really good, bro. This is very playable, to be honest, this is very playable. Awesome. Enable, kick, ooh! Awesome. Just a quickie test, remember, make sure to check my full emulation review of the Redmi Note 11 where I check, uh, test uh, Dolphin Emulator, Agnes Emulator, uh, Citra Emulator and PPSSP Emulator in one single place. Uh, you probably know if you've been following my channel for many years, uh, uh, I let you say that this is kind of my signature of my YouTube channel that I test so many different uh, emulators for uh, so many different smartphones, guys. I don't, I don't just simply focus uh, on flagship devices, I focus also on cheap, budget, mid-range smartphones, etc, etc. So people know me about this, so I think this is the uniqueness of my YouTube channel and that's how I built it in this last six years, which is a lot, man. Six years uh, producing videos for all of you guys is just amazing. And long, a long job, anyway, a hard-working job. Anyway, let's go to Tekken 5, which is uh, heavier than the, these games. Uh, let's load it up, and let's see here how it is gonna run. So this game is heavier than the previous games. This is on normal speed settings, without any hacks enabled. Running, uh, let's just see here, 42, 40 FPS or so out of 60, uh, of course, this is uh, a bit medium lag, I would say like that. Not a huge crucial lag, but it is medium lag here. This stage running also around 40 FPS. Let's enable now uh, the speed. System settings, EE cycle rate we're gonna put at 60%, EE cycle as uh, cycle skip, let's put it at under clock 2. Just a minute, we're gonna go here, system, maximum 3. So guys, you probably can see that the game maybe looks uh, a bit faster, but that's because Let's just say the frames are skipping out cold like that, yeah? Maybe it's shown there 60 FPS, but it's not a true 60 F obviously, visually, which your eyes can catch. That's not a, a true 60 uh, uh, frames per second in real time. Again, this second 5 is very heavy, guys. Very heavy, heavy, especially for a non-Snapdragon chip. Next, 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 next. What else we can test here? Of course, we can test Crash to Insanity. Oh, Contra Shattered Soldier. Check it, check it out. Here we go. Here's another game which is running very good here with the uh, Redmi Note 11. It's running very smooth. This is true 60 FPS, true 60 FPS experience here. And impossible that this game would run full speed on Damon PS2, bro. Uh, impossible, impossible. If I can remember, it w it couldn't run with this frame rate on a MediaTek chip. Awesome! Even the barrel when it explodes. 
full speed bro with maybe a few hiccups but that is just normal it is emulation running great have you another game crash to insanity let's check it out this game is also playable there we go let's go this game is also playable as the previous crash game and uh, to be honest, I think this, this game is heavier than the Bandicoot, the screen, uh, Crashed Insanity. Just the, the graphics look better and the game lo itself looks uh, bigger. With the bigger maps and uh, more details. That's voices in the background by the way. Okay, here we go. So what I'm gonna do, let's uh, check this out, this game, how it's gonna run at normal speeds, guys. Let's see here, I need to check this one at normal speed settings. Check this out, so the game does, uh, visually, you see all the frames, guys. You see all the frames, the frames are not skipping. Uh, I hope you understand me. Uh, but uh, you can see by stuff here that the CPU real-time speed is average around 67F, uh, 67%, I think so which out of 60 FPS, you can see by now it's slowed down. So you need to use those hacks. You need to use those hacks. Uh, you will need to sacrifice the frames in order to play this game, let's just say, faster. So we're gonna go back here, go to settings, system, EE cycle skip, put it in two, and this one we could put at 60. Let's check it out how I'm gonna run. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. So I think that should be enough and for the end we're gonna test another heavy game which is let me just check it out here uh, Pro Evolution Soccer 2014 but 2021 mode let me just show it right now we're gonna load the game load state okay this is a 221 mode and load the game interesting this is very interesting i thought that this game is heavier than the crash to insanity but uh i mean what i want to say is that it's gonna not gonna run that smooth but this is really great speeds bro which i'm which i'm seeing right now this is very playable to the best 2014 i'm kidding 810 is very playable not perfect but very playable by the way guys, this the same problem I had with the Dolphin emulator uh, I, exactly when I'm playing uh, game, uh, games uh, with, uh, which are stored on SD card storage. Uh, this uh, With this small hiccups which you sometimes see. Let me see when it's gonna happen. There you go, it happened, it happened there. Anyway, that should be it. Thank you for watching this video. We showed you the settings, guys. Of course, what you need to do is play around these settings a little bit throughout, uh, yeah, of course, while you are in the game. I uh, showed you something fast, man. You can also sometimes de disable this option. Uh, but like you see myself here, I think that with this game, especially, specifically with this game, this option looks smoother, with which you enable it. Let me see. Or maybe it just slowed down right now because I was exiting the game. Yeah, now the game slowed down. So let's see what can we do. System. Skip underclock and maybe even more. Yeah, but this is showing me right now fake 60 FPS, which is not true at all. Let me see. Okay, now this is much uh, smoother right now, faster. There you go. Oh! Nice, 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 nice. Where are you passing, man? Where are you passing? Anyway, guys, have a great day. And remember, I was using Redmi Note 11 AGB RAM variant and GameSir X2 Gamepad. All the buying links in the description. Asalaamu